Hi, I'm Sebastian, KB0TTL. Today we're going to be showing you how to program a digital frequency into the Anytone 868 or 878 using your keypad. This will be useful for anybody who's gone ahead and set up their code plug on their 868 or 878. This will be useful, say you already have your talk group list in, you've already have your contact list in, you've already done some playing around on the 878, but on the fly, you want to go ahead and add in a channel on the road, wherever. So let's get started. The first step to the process is to go ahead and get out of memory mode into VFO mode. You're going to enter the first frequency of your frequency pair, that is your monitor frequency. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use a dB mega hotspot, which is tuned to 446, uh, 525. So we're going to hit 446.525 pound and then it'll enter in the zeros and fill in the frequency here for us. We're going to have to set up uh, the specifics for our digital channel, which include color code, time slot, chalk group, bandwidth. For digital, we're going to want narrow band, obviously. Um, once we have all of this selected, we can ask which channel we wish to save it to in memory and name the channel. So here goes. Okay, 446.525 is the frequency or part of the base pair frequency we want. Because this is going to a hotspot and not a repeater, we're actually going to put this in as a simplex frequency. To do a repeater, you would go in duplex, but we'll show you that here as well here, just momentarily. So we are going to go to settings. We are going to go to channel settings in this case. For channel type, digital. Hit our back button. Select your power. Because I'm going to a hotspot, which is in the same room as I am, I'm gonna select low power. For repeater, honestly, you're gonna go with high power or turbo power for the full seven watts on this radio. Okay, so again, settings. Channel settings. Bandwidth. Remember, I said to select narrow band for digital. So, narrow. Receive frequency. 446525. You can confirm. The delete button actually doesn't delete it out, it does go back. Transmit frequency is if is what you would use um, if you were using a duplex operation or repeater. In this case, receive and transmit frequency will be the same. We'll select our name later after we enter in the other variables. TX allow. Always is a good default setting, whether you're using a repeater or a hotspot. And let's go back. You can see the DIG here, which denotes that we are now in digital frequency. We're going to go ahead and select our talk group. Use worldwide as a default. Okay, so now we are set up 446525 worldwide. We have our hotspot, which is acting as our local repeater here. If we were to key the radio up, we would be connecting then to this particular uh, talk group. This is KB0TTL monitoring. And success. We're seeing somebody here. Um, they're not too talkative, but we have literally connected here uh, to this talk group on our local repeater or hotspot. 
Let me give it a try back here again. Should be able to hear some uh, folks coming over here. This is KB0TTL monitoring. Okay, we've successfully programmed in our frequency. Now what we need to do is turn our frequency that we've programmed into a program channel. I've gone through my channels. I currently have 33 channels that are filled up in my radio. So we're going to start with channel 34 when we add this to code plug in my case. Settings. Channel settings. New channel. Input number. Three. 4 for 34. Confirm. Channel name. I'm just going to go ahead and call this a generic name for now. I'm going to call it Worldwide or WW for short. You can call it whatever you like. Confirm. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my DV Mega Zone. You can add it to whichever zone you like. If you have more than one zone, you'll be able to scroll up and down here and select which zone. Confirm to save, push select again. Channel is saving. We'll go ahead and hit our back button and exit. Now I'm going to switch to channel mode by pushing my P1 button. Getting out of VFO. We're on channel 8. Now I'm going to swing up to 34, which is the channel that I just created. And there we are. Worldwide DV Mega Zone. We could hear someone kerchunking on there, but nobody talking on the group here as of yet. It's typically a pretty active group, so it surprises me that we're not hearing anybody here as of yet. Right there we could see, just briefly, that that was the ID number or DMR ID number of the member. Apparently a newer DMR member ID, as we don't have it in our, um, in our contact list yet. Thank you for watching. This is Sebastian, KB0TTL, and 73.